to look at the clam exercise now which is a great exercise for strengthening the glutes in particular the glute med which sits sort of around the outer side of the hip and is indicated in pretty much all knee injuries um, and also injuries around the hip um, so a great one to do in running so we're going to start in side lying and use the head block or a rolled up towel just to support your neck I want you to imagine that you're lying against a brick wall and you've got contact with that wall at your feet, your hips and throughout the back. It's really important to get space between the floor and the waist so to achieve that we're going to push the top hip down and see how my waist lifts and that's switching on those oblique muscles. So for the clam exercise we're going to set the centre Keep the hip nice and stable as we float the top knee up towards the ceiling, opening out like a book, and then lowering back down again. So feet stay together, and the movement is coming from my glutes, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit harder to get a bit more out of that exercise. Now what I want to do is maintain stability at the pelvis, so imagine that you've got a cup of tea resting on this top hip. We also don't want to be rolling back as we come into that clam movement. Otherwise, we'll be using the back rather than the hips. So if you need to place that hand on the top hip to give you a little bit of feedback, then do so. And we can really work with endurance and build up repetitions of this until you feel a nice warm glow on the outer side of the hip. Ways that we can make the exercise a little bit more of a challenge is to use an unstable ball, um, pillow, something like that at home and place it between your feet and you'll see the challenge of stability that that provides. So I feel that I'm having to work a little bit harder to keep that pelvis nice and level. If we want to look a little bit more at strength then you can use um, a resistance band, tie it in the loop and place it around your knees and then we'll be working into the band, just to fire up those glutes a little bit more. We could also challenge the end range of the glutes, which is often where you find your weakness, and pulse into that last little bit of movement. Oh, okay, and then let's rest there, and don't forget to repeat on the opposite side.